limits video number 12. <clears throat> we need to prove we need to prove that limit of sine x of sine theta over theta as theta approaches zero is equal to one when theta is in radians if theta is in radians i will prove that when theta is in radians because i will prove i will prove it using uh, the area of a sector using the radians uh, formula all right let's say i got this theta which is since i'm in portion one so it is theta plus right because x approaches theta it could be in first portion theta plus or theta minus this means it's in the fourth portion let's work in the first portion and it will be the same similarly in the second portion i did uh, take any point p on a trigonometric circle ph is a height dropped from p projection right uh, a uh, t is tangent whatever he wants me to prove that I will use sandwich theorem to prove that, right? But how to get there? How to get to sandwich theorem? Again, we are using theta approaches zero plus, right? Let's say, let's say the area, right, of triangle OPA in the figure, triangle OPA. For sure, it will be less than the area, and it's very clear on the figure of the sector the sector OPA, right? OPA. Because the sector OPA, this is the sector OPA, right? More than that triangle. And is less than area of triangle OAT. So I did put this Y because I need sandwich theorem to prove this formula. All right? I did put three values, one less than the other, less than the other. Let's see. What is the area of triangle? It's half base times height. Half base what is the base in triangle opa since this triangle is right at i don't need yeah it is right at p but i don't need that uh, we can take oa as a base right and and oh as a height right oa is the base and oh is the height this is a all right <clears throat> is less than area of the sector area of the sector is half theta radius square according to the using theta as radians, less than area of triangle OAT, this uh, uh, angle is 90 over here because radius is perpendicular to the tangent. So it's also half, if I consider OA as base, then the height will be AT because it's perpendicular to that base. Dividing all of those by half, all of the sides by half, or multiply all of the sides by two, I got OA, which is radius OA, and the radius in a trigonometric circle is equal to 1. So this is OA is equal to 1, and OA is equal to 1, right? Uh, OH, what left is OH. Why OH? It's not OH, sorry. I did something wrong over here. If OA is uh, the base in a triangle, PH is the height, not OH. PH is the height. So PH is equal to what? pH is opposite to theta, right? Opposite to theta. So sine theta, if sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, hypotenuse is radius, so it is equal to 1. If sine theta equal opposite over hypotenuse, right? So sine theta is equal the opposite, with, which is pH, over hypotenuse and the hypotenuse is op in this right triangle right so it's equal to one because uh, op is radius in the trigonometric circle then ph is equal to one times sine theta is sine theta so instead of ph i can write sine theta all right oa is one we multiplied by two we get rid of two of half less than also half is one now right theta is theta radius of trigonometric circle circle is equal to one so radius squared is equal to one less than half is one or a is one at is tangent right at is the tangent because also we can say that tangent theta is equal to at divided by which is opposite divided by adjacent 
and the adjacent is OA, and OA is equal to 1, so the tangent is 80 over 1, which is 80. So this is tangent theta. All right. Now, let us divide all of those by sine theta, sine theta, sine theta. We get what? We got sine theta over theta is equal to 1, less than theta over sine theta, less than tangent theta is sine theta over cosine theta. Over sine theta over 1, if we simplify that, will be 1 divided by cosine theta, right? Now, let me take the limit as theta approaches 0 plus according to my figure, because I took it in the first portion of 1 is less than the limit of theta over sine theta as theta approaches 0 plus less than limit of 1 over cosine theta as theta approaches 0 plus. Limit of 1 is equal to 1 less than limit of theta over sine theta. We leave it as it is because we cannot find this. That's why I'm using the uh, sandwich theorem. That's the purpose of sandwich theorem. Limit of 1 over cosine theta. Theta, if theta is 0, cosine 0 is equal to 1. 1 over 1 is equal to 1. Since this value is included between 1 and 1, according to sandwich theorem, we can say that the limit of theta over sine theta as theta approaches 0 plus is equal to 1. But that's not what I need. He wants me to prove limit of sine theta over theta, right? sine theta over theta as theta approaches zero, not only zero plus. That's great. What is that? Can I say its limit of, instead of theta over sine theta, we can take, we can take its one over, right? If the limit of sine theta over theta as theta approaches zero is one, what is the limit of one over theta over sine theta? theta as theta approaches 0 plus is also equal to 1 because it's the reciprocal of the 1, right? Reciprocal of the 1 is also 1. This means limit of sine theta over theta as theta approaches 0 plus is equal to 1. And we can say similarly, if we did draw in the fourth portion, which is 0 minus, we are going to have the same thing exactly. So also equal to 1. That's why limit finally of sine theta over theta as theta approaches zero is equal to one and we can use it as a rule but when we have to be, be careful uh, pay attention for something very important which is theta will be any value right any u means when we are going to use limit of sine let's say 3x if it is over 3x and as 3x approaches zero that is the same thing and we can take it equal to one so the final thing i want to say that limits of si limit of sine u of x let's say if it is function in x over u of x as u of x approaches zero then it's gonna be equal to one thank you for listening and end of video 11.